This equation we were not asked to solve algebraically, but we really should make sure we understand how to do this, solve this algebraically. So this is a square root equation, so we should get rid of that square root. We're going to do that by squaring both sides of this equation. So I end up with x to the power 4 is equal to 15x minus 14. This is a polynomial equation, so we're going to make it equal to 0. Okay, so at this point we could, uh, we, this is a fourth degree polynomial. So what we want to do is we need to, or what we need to do is we need to guess the, the first two solutions and break it down to a quadratic and see if we can actually solve the quadratic. So I need to use a remainder theorem. So using the remainder theorem, I'm going to guess f of 1. When I plug 1 in, I get 1 minus 15 plus 14, and that's equal to 0. So that tells me that one of the factors is going to be x minus 1. And I can guess the negative, but because of the nature of this, this quadrat or this fourth degree polynomial, since it started off with a square root, we know that the x values must be positive. So I'm going to guess x is 2. And so I end up with 2 to the power of 4 is 16, minus 2 times 15 is 30, plus 14. And that is equal to 0. So that tells me that the other factor is x minus 2. So for our purposes, we ha actually have the two solutions that we need at x equals 1 and x equals 2. Those are the only intersections. Now, if we were solving for the rest of this quadratic, we would have to break this down into the, into the, sorry, solving this fourth degree, we need to break this down into the quadratic. So I'm going to break this down using synthetic division. So I have 1, 0 cubed, 0 squared, negative 15, positive 14. I'm going to use negative 1. So I get negative 1, subtract, I get 1, I get negative 1, I subtract, I get 1, multiply, I get negative 1, I subtract, I get negative 14, and then when I subtract those, I get my remainder of 0, and then I'm going to do this again, and maybe I'll color code this, this is from the negative 1 that I got, okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the negative 2, so negative 2, so I get subtract, I get 3, subtract, I get uh, 7, I subtract, I get 0. Okay, so <clears throat> my quadratic that I'm left with then is going to be x squared plus 3x plus 7 equals 0. And we're going to solve this. We can just plug this into a quadratic formula. However, when I plug it into the quadratic formula, so I get x is equal to negative 3 plus minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. I end up with negative 3. My discriminant ends up being equal to uh, negative 19. Okay, so we know that there's no solution there is no solution. Okay, so then I have my two solutions that I've worked out. From this equation, algebraically, they're the ones I ended up guessing using the remainder theorem.